Hi, in this video we will learn how to download Linux. So basically when we are talking about Linux, we have got three major operating systems which are based on Linux. So basically they have Linux kernel inside them. So first is Ubuntu which is world's most friendliest Linux distro or distribution. So how to download Ubuntu? So first step is to go to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop and you will be presented this page so since we have Ubuntu 14.04 LTS as the latest one so we can just download it so you have options of either downloading 64-bit operating system or 32-bit operating system so in case you have RAM less than 2 GB you can download 32-bit operating system or else you can use 64-bit operating system so just choose any of these and then click on download and then the downloading process will initiate so all you need to do is after successfully downloading this file this image file you just have to burn it on CD or DVD depending on the availability uh, you can either donate it if you like Ubuntu or you can just go to not now take me to the download So now it says thank you for downloading Ubuntu desktop and the downloading process will initiate. So this is how we download Ubuntu. Now we will talk about Fedora. So here you just have to click on save file and it, the downloading process will initiate. About Fedora and Ubuntu they both are kind of parallel worlds and they have 90% similarity and 10% uh, difference in commands and basic structure so if you want to download this then go to fedoraproject.org slash get hyphen fedora this is the URL and then you will be presented with this page where you can just download the latest available desktop edition so in case you are using laptop or desktop this will work perfectly fine so just click on download now so since the maximum limit of CD is about 750 MB you will be needing a, a DVD for writing this so just download the image by clicking on download now and then um, it will start downloading as it says your download should begin in a few seconds so this is the screen where from you can just click on save file and the downloading process will initiate so this is how we download Fedora and Fedora is really fantastic and it's very powerful operating system is a Linux based operating system a suite of software that makes your computer run you can use Fedora operating system to replace or to run alongside with of other operating systems such as Microsoft Windows or Mac OS X the Fedora operating system is 100% free of cost for you to enjoy and share so you don't have to pay any single penny for using it uh, like you do uh, when you want to use Windows so it's uh, fantastic also it's 100% so when you're talking about Linux it's 100% free and open source and there are hundreds and thousands of free applications Linux is virus and spyware free so you don't have to worry about these hassles which are caused by spywares worldwide community so in case you are stuck at something you can get help from from their forums from their IRC channels so you will get lots of support and that is free you don't have to pay for it and you can make friends with with the community members it all depends on you how you want to get into get involved with the community it's an amazingly powerful operating system so when we're talking about Linux every distro which is powered by Linux is very powerful in terms of the kind of performance they produce they give is fantastic share it with your friends so like when you're using Windows you can't really share the licenses licenses with your friends 
so it just limited to you when we are talking about linux you can uh, free you are free to share it with your friends family members and yeah you can keep on doing that beautiful artwork so there are lots of free wallpapers and things which you can download for your system and you can really customize it in a beautiful way so it's more of a art to beautify your system you can customize your system in multiple ways millions of installations so there are there have been millions of users so far and they have been using it for years now so when we are talking about linux you are totally safe in the sense that you are not the only person who will be using it servers of companies like facebook google have been using linux for years now and many uh, world's most of the world's most of the supercomputers run linux so linux is really fantastic in that sense so that was about fedora talking about debian we have to go to debian.org slash cd slash http hyphen ftp slash hash stable so we can just look over here to see it or you can just google it debian and then you will find it downing just click on it and you will land up to this page so here you have to click on um, official CD slash DVD images of the stable releases click here and you will be presented with this place so here uh, if your computer is is AM is 64 bit or the processor is 64 bit then you can install this one you can just download this one AMD 64 or if it is 32 bit then you can use uh, this i386 so let's click on this AMD 64 and let's see what happens so here we can see we have got lots of files so just click on the first one and uh, first one will be enough for installing the basic operating system in case you want to add more and more you can just install the rest of them so just click on any of uh, click on CD one, and then the uh, the downloading process will be initiated. So as soon as you will download the image file, all you need to do is you have to burn that on DVD, and then you have to just restart your computer, boot it from the DVD, and then the installation process will initiate. Uh, keep in mind that uh, when you're installing a new operating system chances are th there that your data will be lost if you if you have uh, data in your computer so uh, make sure that you have taken backup in your uh, external hard disk or else data will be lost so ensure that your data is totally backed up in your external hard disk or dvds or pen drives anywhere you have backed up all your data and then only uh, you should be installing this operating system because chances are there that since it will be your first time to install this Linux you might get into some trouble and if you get into some trouble then chances are there that the data will be lost so you don't want that right so so ensure that the data is backed up choose any of these operating systems and then download them Thank you for watching the video.